Hey guys, it's Michaela Skinner. I'm just gonna give you a little update on my life throughout the last couple of months and what's been going on. With this whole coronavirus thing, my life has been flipped upside down and has changed tremendously and it's been super crazy, but I have decided to defer my senior year at the University of Utah again to keep training for the Olympics. I have come so far in the last couple of months trying to prepare for this and I feel like I can't really give up on that dream quite yet. So I've been going into the gym. I mean, the last two months it's been shut down. So I've been going in by myself. We got permission to do that. So I just got to practice. I'm gonna show you guys a little tour of my gym and where I train. It's almost nine o'clock, gym starts at nine. So before we go into the gym, we always have to put our masks on. So we got a mask up first. Already. So we've been practicing our social distancing. Here's the little hope screw. This is my coach Bob. <laughs> Usually they say it's like the first year of marriage. You're still on that honeymoon phase. <laughs> Your guys' first year of marriage has been insane, right? You got married in November? Mm -hmm. What what has it been like getting married and then having just all of the crazy things that have happened in your life take place immediately after that? Like, how, how are you guys doing? Um, we're doing pretty good. Usually in the summer he's gone. So like all like when we first got married, we were with each other like every single day. And it was actually like kind of fun with the quarantine because I was in the gym by myself. So like he would come in with me and like move my mats and, you know, do videos for my YouTube channel. So. That was like really fun to be able to like spend that much time with him. <laughs> We're gonna teach Jonas some gymnastics. We've dated for two years, been married for five months now. So let's kind of see what he can do since he's been in the gym watching me, comes in and supports me, films a little bit. But we're gonna see what he can do and bring to the table today. Okay, what do you guys think? I think that's not too bad. Okay, now you need to sit back more. So you're up over your butt, so you're not like this. You have to be up over the top. <laughs> I'm trying. This one actually is dangerous. They don't have... <laughs> Crips on. It didn't look that hard. <laughs> yeah, I think... No, I think... Yeah, yours is better. <laughs> <laughs> What'd I do? I don't even know. Okay. I just kind of wanted to get on here and give you guys another little update on life. Life's been, it, the last couple months, it was definitely a struggle for me, um, just with the postponement of the Olympics and, you know, that just changed everything going into the future for me. These last couple weeks, I finally feel like I've really started to like love gymnastics again. It was really hard for a while. The moment that you found out that the Olympics were going to be postponed, wh where were you? How did you find out? I was on my way to practice and my husband calls me and goes, the news is out. The Olympics is postponed for another year. And I was just like, you're kidding. Like you're messing with me. Like this, they, they said they're going to take like a week or two to like figure everything out. And it kind of like slipped out earlier than was planned. And so like, it really just shocked me. And I just kind of went through my day at practice and I just kind of like was so mad about it that I just kind of like had a good practice, got my anger out, and then it didn't hit me till the next day. And I was just kind of like, this sucks. You know, I was just planning on having a year to train. And I mean, I am 23, that's kind of, you know, older for gymnastics. And it's kind of scary thinking about like trying to keep my body healthy for a whole nother year of elite gymnastics. You know, everything was going so well and I was pushing so hard for, you know, the Olympics to be in two months and then to be able to move back to Utah and, you know, buy my first house with my husband and finish school. So a lot has changed and it has been really hard and difficult at times, especially to like stay motivated in the gym and to keep working really hard. But I think I really have a shot at this and it's always been my dream. And I just really want to try to achieve it while I can before it's too late. Snap. Yeah. 